Hi friends, this video will guide you on how to fix update.exe application error on Windows 11. There are many reasons for receiving the update.exe application error, which starts from the malware or uh, infected system to the damaged system files. The method of one is to scan your PC for malware or virus infection. First and foremost step you should take when facing an error of such kind is to scan your PC for any malware or virus. Typically Windows does that automatically, however running a deep scan on your PC is the best solution. So just uh, click on start menu and from here just go to the security, just type in security, you will get the Windows security here. Just click on the virus and threat protection and then go to the scan options. Then go to Microsoft Defender Antivirus, just turn this on. Then go and do a full scan. Your PC might shut down and restart once to complete the scan and detect any malware or any virus on your system. Now the next method is to fix registry errors using DISM and SFC scan. Since the issue involves corrupted or damaged system files, it is recommended to run the DISM and SFC scan as DISM will fix the image that is used to diagnose the problems present on your system and SFC will check and repair your machine. To run the DISM on your system, first you have to head to the start menu. From here just type terminal. You will get the terminal app here, just right click on it. And you have to run it as an administrator. Then on the terminal window type or copy paste the command that you are seeing on the screen right now. I will share the same in the description, you can copy and paste it from there. The DASM command may takes up to several minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection. It may also appear stuck at times, but it's normal behavior of the command. Wait patiently till the execution of the command completes. Once that is completed, just type in the following command that is SFC command to scan the system. That is SFC scan now. Once the SFC command is finished executing, head to the start menu and restart your PC. Now after the restart, try to upgrade again to check if the issue is present or not. Now the third method is to deactivate the data execution prevention. Data execution prevention or DEP is a memory protection tool by Microsoft that allows third party programs to execute from certain parts of the memory. Though this feature is incorporated for the safety of the system, many programs are still not compatible with it. So to deactivate DEP on your system, first head to the start menu and click on settings. Now here make sure that you are on the systems, then on the right pane move down and click on about. Now from here just click on the system protection. Now click on the third tab that is advanced. Now then click on the settings. This will open a separate window on your screen. Now from here, you have to click on the data execution prevention. After that, click on the radio button preceding the turn on DEP for all programs and services except those I select. Just click on that and click on add. This will bring up a file explorer window on your screen. Locate the problematic app in the install drive of your PC and select .exe file of this app to add it to the list. Once you have added the app to the list, click on apply and click on ok and see if this solves your issue. Now the next fourth method is to install or update missing drivers on your system. A missing or outdated driver can also be one of the reasons that you have been experiencing this issue on your system. To update it from the settings app, you have to head to the settings. Now from here just go to the windows update and click on advanced option and from here just go to the optional updates. Now if you have any updates pending here you will see a list of available drivers here and you can click on the driver updates file to expand it and you have to update those drivers. Now you can do the same using the device manager too. For that just right click on the start menu from here just go to the device manager and open the firmware one by one and you can update the driver from here and you can follow the process to update. 
In case none of the method above I discussed doesn't solve your issue, the last solution is to restore your PC using the system image recovery option. You will get the system image recovery option from the Windows recovery environment. For that again you have to head to the settings from the start menu. Just click on the settings. And now from here just go to the recovery option. And from here click on the advanced startup restart now. Now your system will restart. And once the advanced startup screen is visible on your machine, locate and click on the troubleshoot option. I'll share the screenshots hereafter. You can follow the same steps. So that's it. Hope this guide will help you resolve the update.exe application error. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.